in the notes, you thanked the New York City subway. Um, I have never in my time here heard anyone say, thank you, subway. <laughs> uh, so what was it about the New York City subway that you, uh, you felt in debt to? Well, I mean, okay, and here's a, I feel like I need to disclaim by, you know, I understand if you lived here for a long time and you'd caught the subway 5,000 times, you would hate it. Yeah. For me, it still has a bit of romance, even though I did get um, stuck on the if for four hours. Oh, you were on the train that got stuck yes, for I four was. hours? Oh, yes, my goodness, I was. that sounded really awful. Sitting on the floor for four hours. Wow. Yeah. And when you're sitting on the floor for four hours, does anyone notice that Lord is on the train? I know if they noticed. All I could think about was that I had a little um, oatmeal sachet in my bag, and I was like, if anyone finds out, this is going to be like prized commodity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it's going to be like lost. This, this will be my family now. Yeah. Like, they're going to be here forever. Oh, um, so. that's See, I would have immediately thought, oh, what can I barter with my oatmeal? Like, what can I get what off people? What can you barter down there, though? Like, well, that, I would food? just try to, like... I would just like raise the price. I would be like, this usually right, yeah, is a yeah, dollar, yeah. but now it's $150. Give me a seat. Yeah. Um, you sit on the floor, give me <laughs> exactly. a seat. No, but I love the subway. I feel like, um, um, it was really nice writing this record. I would kind of sit there and listen to the work, and it helped me kind of be around people, you know, because when you're working in a studio, you're very isolated and kind of just sure. hang out with a couple people. So I feel like it sort of reintroduced me back into society, and people would be very sweet. They'd kind of, uh, you know, someone would be like, huh? <laughs> and sort of do a little look, and I'd be like, <laughs> so I was reading an article where you were talking, um, and has this been your whole life? There, this, this, uh, the way you see colors. Oh yes. <laughs> well, I guess what is it? It's not that you you hear. Explain it for me. Okay, so it's called synesthesia, uh -huh. and um, basically it's like um, when the senses overlap in some way. So for me, um, music and words kind of have colors and textures and forms, um, and it's like this weird abstract thing. But making music is like a really visual process for me. So and uh, and so then is that how? Or do you describe? Your music in colors, like if you were talking to Jack, do you do you say like this is a little too? Yeah, I try hard to um, keep the color things away from like synesthesia muggles because I feel like it's super annoying. But um, yeah. I, I would definitely like <laughs> I would kind of <laughs> I would slip and be like, uh, it just doesn't look very nice. And he would be like, What do you want me to <laughs> do with that information? Like yeah. you can't, you can't. There's, there's nothing there. Um, uh, what would you say are the colors uh, of this album? Oh well, they are they are the colors of the um, a lot of the colors in the actual cover painting itself. So okay, these violets and blues. Yeah, the, the the cover is beautiful. Thank and you. after I read that, I sort of looked at the album art and having listened to some of the songs, it was, I had a real understanding. Again, and I'm a muggle, I'll admit, but um, <laughs> uh, it did You're make cool total muggle. sense to me. So I will say that was it. You you really nailed it. If oh, those were the thank colors you. you were looking for. Thank you. And uh, I'm just so happy to have you here. And thank you so much for singing a song off the oh album. We goodness. can't wait. Thank you. What a pleasure for me. Give it up for Lord, everybody.